Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Eric Johnson. Welcome back. Here's a live look over at the Opportunity Bank ICAM in Helena. Nice and quiet to start out our, our day. We're going to see some clouds for the early part of the day and then clearing out pretty quickly with some sunshine throughout the afternoon and evening. Temperatures will be much cooler today with highs only reaching the 50s across the area. Now this morning we do have a road closure on Highway 49 from East Glacier up to Highway uh, 89 and that's where we saw some snow overnight. So that's all because of snow covered roads and that's mainly an overnight closure. So that should be opened up pretty quickly across the rest of the area. It's nice and clear. Temperatures are in the 20s and low to mid 30s. So it's a very chilly start to our morning. That cold front from yesterday is down towards Billings right now and will continue to just push off to the south and east. So we will clear things out across the Treasure State. And as we do look at our almanac for the month of October so far, for the first three weeks, we have been 8.7 degrees warmer than average. So pretty impressive. We're right around the fourth warmest October on record so far. We still have over a week to go, so we'll see how that plays out. But uh, we have seen about uh, close to two tenths of an inch of rain so far throughout the month, which is well below average. We do have some better rain chances coming in in the next seven to 10 days. But as we look at our future track for today, those snow showers up near Glacier National Park will start to wrap up. Still could see some flurries and light snow showers for parts of Pend Oreille and Teton counties, mainly in the higher elevations. But the rest of us looking at sunny to mostly sunny skies returning for the afternoon. That's going to continue into Wednesday morning but then clouds will build from southwest to northeast throughout the afternoon on Wednesday as another disturbance moves through. Now this is going to have bigger impacts west of the divide where we will see some high elevation snow for areas above 5,000 feet and some rain for the valleys. A few, uh, some of that could sneak into the Helena area tomorrow, so we may see a few light showers around. But for us here in central Montana, this afternoon is going to feature some gusty winds. We'll see 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts across the plains. And then for the Rocky Mountain front, we're just going to consistently stay pretty breezy with gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour possible all the way through Wednesday. So there's that disturbance that will be passing through tomorrow night into Thursday. It'll be moving moving quickly so we clear out nicely for the end of the week. It's still going to be pretty cool, but then high pressure builds in for the weekend and we're going to see those temperatures climbing through the 60s, possibly even a few low 70s by Saturday. And then the stronger storm will arrive Sunday night into Monday. That's going to bring much colder air and also the chance for some more rain and mountain snow. This could ha especially have impacts for areas on the west side of the divide and then areas along the Pacific Northwest coast where they could actually pick up two to four inches of rain. But here across Montana, the uh, mounts will be lighter for those of us east of the divide. Overall, though, as we approach the end of the month, we are going to be trending wetter than normal uh, as we move towards the Halloween holiday there. But uh, looking at our temperatures for today, looking at a high of about 56 for Helena, 50 for White Sulphur Springs. And again, a few showers still possible uh, lingering near the Rocky Mountain front. But otherwise, temperatures in the mid and upper 50s on the high line. We're struggling to even get into the 50s today with a high of 53 for Chester and Haver and up into northeastern Montana, significantly cooler from what we saw yesterday, we'll be struggling to get out of the 40s. But then those temperatures jumped to about 61 on Wednesday before some cooler weather for the end of the week and a nice and mild weekend. We'll take a look at that Helen Opportunity Bank of Montana weather cam and stick around for more news and weather right after the break. From MTN News, you're watching Montana This Morning.